Hello everybody, this is Periverse Fiske Fluid again. Uh, today uh, I'm gonna present for you some uh, little tips and tricks about how to use Semperfly tying wires and tying thread. Uh, today I'm gonna cover uh, some uh, uses for uh, tying wires. So, um, what you see in front of you now is my new dubbing brush machine. This is uh, homemade from the, a scrap I had in my basement. Uh, very uh, simple. I have a uh, lit out of sight of you here a wheel that I spin to get this shaft with this little uh, hook here. Uh, on the other side, you have a tension uh, and another hook uh, and so on. Um, this is a board that I can easily adjust up and down with a little groove in the middle where I put the dubbing. Okay, uh, on the bottom here I have uh, I have some uh, uh, bubble uh, plastic uh, material um, like a foam or something that uh, makes the resistance uh, on this uh, shaft here. Um, so the board will stand in its right position. Okay, uh, now I just put this down. Uh, now I'm gonna attach the thread. Uh, let's see. I have to adjust the. Um, um, so, do you see? This is Semperfly 0.2 millimeter tying wire. Okay. Um, I won't recommend uh, using a smaller diameter for a tying uh, dubbing brushes because uh, you have uh, problems with uh, breaking the wire. I have to put this board aside just for a moment. I'm going to place this on the hook and I can spin it to close the loop. Okay, and then I'm gonna over here just spin it like so. Okay, and use my little scissors, scissor or uh, I don't know what it's called in English, uh, like um, yeah, whatever. Just use it to snip off the wire and then I put the board in place. You show these pegs here. Put that thread on top of top of this, and use it to get it up, so it uh, aligns the top here. Okay. Now I'm gonna take some dubbing I have. I have. <laughs> uh, this is uh, kind of a. Uh, yeah. Traveler's dubbing dispenser is uh, from Spirit River. Uh, this is uh, a semi seal. What I do is I put this um, on the top here. Um, if anybody wonders if I wear gloves, it's because I have an allergic reaction to the foam and plastics. So just a precaution. Okay, I put it on the top here. Okay, try to spread it out. You can adjust the uh, the the how much you want to use on this dubbing brush. Uh, you want it sparse or thicker. Okay, for the demonstration purposes, I use some of it. A little dubbing here goes a long way. 
Okay. Okay. A uh, little tip for those who have an allergic reaction like me on the plastics. Uh, I have a latex allergy, so this prevents to get me to get in contact. This is vinyl, vinyl. So this is uh, okay for me to use. Okay. Now I got all the dubbing on on the um, on the dubbing board here, and now I use some flash. I want some flash on this. Have a little extra glasses here. Okay, put it on top. This can make dubbing uh, brushes for uh, for uh, smaller flies um, and um, maybe streamers bodies. Okay. Just have to spread it out a little bit. Okay. This 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 um, you can do it. You can mix several colors. You can mix several type of flesh. Uh, this is a uh, starburst drubbing uh, material uh, in light gray. I want some. I use this dubbing earlier and uh, okay it sticks a little bit okay okay it could sit on my fingers here maybe it's a kind of well I have to take on uh, a little metal maybe it was a mag magnetic kind of reaction there okay now I'm getting so far uh, I take now the dubbing wire, the uh, Semperfly wire, over to this hook and carefully just spin and close the loop. Okay, let it have some turns. Okay, then I use my snips. I don't know the English word for this, but you know what it is, huh? Side cutter. Side cutter. Now I remember remembered. To get the cut deep into the close to the center of the thread. Okay, now I spin my wire. Now I got a little tension on it and I just push this down and push it aside. Okay. And now you can spin it. You see, and this, when I turn this wheel, this spins and squeeze the material in together two metal, metal tries, metal threads, metal wires. You have to be care, uh, carefully watch this and see, now this has uh, beginning to spin up, then you can get your uh, hub. There I have it. I use this a little. This is a um, kind of um, dog brush for combing dog furs and so. On. This is it's a fantastic, uh, fantastic uh, little tool. Then I hold this side here carefully. Okay, spin it a little more. This is the first edition I have on this uh, dubbing brush machine. Um, I have plans making it mechanic uh, by using a sewing uh, machine motor contact to it and let it uh, use with a foot paddle and spin it. Okay, now you see we were getting there. Just spin and spin and spin from here to the heaven <laughs> okay you see this makes a wonderful fly body now you see because this wire is uh, 
is not so strong you see it has beginning to lack care to lose their tension but this is more than enough then I can just release it from there and from here and here you have it people this is a very nice body material and you can use it a lot of purposes but the mostly I think in uh, in um, in streamers wet flies and so on uh, flies that uh, going down uh, here I have another brush I made earlier with another color you see this is the possibilities is endless and uh, that's one tip for you using Semper flies fly well let's see then Semper fly get in in focus yes fly tying wire 0.2 millimeter uh, Semperfly has a uh, lot of colors they have uh, this one you see in red this is 0.1 millimeter and they have gold silver chartreux uh, lots of colors so the, uh, the possibilities are endless that was a little tip for you now and uh, I'll watch out. Uh, I'm coming back with another uh, video with uh, with another use of uh, fly tying wires from Simplify. So stay tuned. Bye bye.